I am here with Human Nature. So, you guys, this is going to be like my first natural hair tutorial. So, as you can see, I got my hair colored. Oh my girl, I cannot wait to do something with it because right now, honestly, you guys, it feels dry. I mean, of course, I just got my hair freaking dyed red. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I am in Florida right now, you guys. As I said, I was getting color, and I wanted you guys to guess what color I was getting, and I got red. At first, I wanted it a more ombre red, like I wanted my roots to be dark and go into like a really bold red, like even more bold than this. But somehow we got to this. <laughs> Because you guys know your stylist, stylists know best, you know. Um, so we went all out, you guys. Um, but as you can see, my roots are still darker, and then it goes into these different shades of red, which I'm really excited about because I'm really excited to see what it's gonna look like once my hair starts to grow out. Because of course, my hair is like a darker, like natural black. So that natural black going into this darker red, into this more vibrant red, is gonna look like how I wanted it to look um, but anyway so um, tomorrow we have we have to shoot like behind the scenes footage like you know styling step-by-step -step things um, so I'm about to prep my hair for tomorrow repairing mask yeah I think that I'm about to um, wet my hair and I'm gonna be using their repairing hair mask because I mean, again, I just colored it, and I feel like I need to do that. Um, so that's what I'm going to do first. I'm not even going to film it, you guys, because I just really want to have this time alone with my new color. Um, but I did want to explain to you guys what I'm going to do tonight. So um, even though I my hair was washed today, so much has been done. Um, I'm still going to do it tonight just for my sanity. <laughs> so I have their um, deep conditioning Repairing, repairing treatment. It heals, strengthens, curls with exotic shine. So I'm going to use that. Alright, so I'm using their deep treatment because you guys, oh my god. I'm still, I'm very confident that I'm going to be able to care for this hair. But you guys have to know, like, yeah. With color, I'm going to have to take extra care of my hair. And that's the main reason why I'm really excited about it. Because I know that people are thinking about color, especially because summer's coming. Um, so people are going to want color. And now I have new content to bring you guys. Because now I can show you how I'm going to take care of this hair. So right now, again, I have their deep treatment in. I'm just going to rake this through really good. Then I'm going to um, just finger detangle it to really make sure that it's on every strand, you know? And then I'm gonna put a plastic bag on it because I don't have a plastic cap. So I'm just gonna put a plastic bag on it. And I only had two sample packets of the mask. And it's enough on my hair. I wish I had more because you know how we like to pile it on. <laughs> but it's enough. They also clipped my ends, which I was really happy about. Because um, I figured that, you know, having color, I would need my ends clipped. Because I feel like when you have color, it shows you like every flaw, every good thing and bad thing about your hair. So it's making my curls pop more. But I also know that, you know, if my ends were raggedy, 
it would show that too. So I got them to cut my end. So yeah, I'm just going to keep finger detangling. I'll come back. I guess we're doing a tutorial, or not a tutorial, I guess we're just doing a, a demo now. And I literally just came from the salon shooting, and now I'm still working on my channel. So funny. All right, curls, I'll be right back. <laughs> so you guys, this is all I have. <laughs> it's this bag that they gave me the product in. <laughs> So I'm using that as my deep conditioning. Because I just, like I said. <laughs> oh, there's more. Oh, I need. Whatever. There's a little bit more in there. I was about to take it out, but. Yes, I am in here doing my hair in a full face. The makeup artist Kelvin, he's from Atlanta. He was amazing, you guys. He was so amazing. Um, so if you're in the Atlanta area, check him out. But yeah, I'm just going to chill, um, do some editing of footage while I am deep conditioning. <laughs> I have their leave-in conditioner. This says um, strength and shine leave-in conditioner and yeah i definitely need that then we have their oil this is their 100 percent pure argan oil that is the face of all of this like all of these products argan oil is the like face of the entire line because of course argan oil is like liquid gold can't you see that it's liquid gold yeah <laughs> um so we're going to be using that and then i'm going to go in with their Putting Perfection. It's a thicker product that has less soft hold, um, just so my twist outs will look banging. Um, and then I'm going to use the Styling Mousse. And I'm going to do two strand twists. And, and thank goodness I brought my perm rod. So I'm going to be doing perm rods. So I have the great perm rods. I like using these. So yeah, um, but I'll, maybe I'll come back and show you a little bit of something, you know, but I just had to come and get some footage of this hair, like oh my, oh my, so crazy. Alright, I'm going to go get my phone so I can take some selfies. So I just had the deep conditioner on for a while. As you can see, curls popping. It's something about color. It just makes your curls like freaking pop. Like, oh my God. Um, so yeah, I just um, had that deep conditioner on for a little while. So now I'm going to rinse it out and then we'll come back in and start doing the lock method and styling. I just put a towel on my hair, not patting it or anything. Just putting the towel on I um towels are not your friend but you can use a towel on your natural hair if you want as long as you're just placing it on your hair not actually like rubbing it like that is like the biggest no-no like do not rub a towel on your hair because you will just make it frizzy but if you're just putting it on there just getting the excess water then that's fine it's not like moving around on your head um, so yeah. Woo! Look at this, this argan oil is so cute. It is adorable. And it looks like there's a little dropper in there. Oh, it feels so official. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to section this off. And spray my leave-in. Oh, the spray is huge, so it covers a wide angle. Leave-in. And then I'm going to drop a little bit of the argan oil in my hand. Right about. So I just put two drops in my hand. Making sure I definitely get it on my ends. 
and I'm just gonna twist this and so I can just go through each section and just make sure I'm really getting that leave-in on there and the oil and after I go through each one I'll put some oil all over again So again, I'm sectioning the hair. I spray some leave-in on my ends and all over. Mmm, this leave-in smells good. It smells like cake or something. It has a different scent than the rest of the product. Alright, so I just finished parting my hair. So now I'm just going to put some argan oil on my scalp, which is cool to have this little droppy thing, because you can just puck it in there. I've been going overboard. I'm in love with this stuff, you guys. So now I'm just going to massage it in. And now I'm going to have to go charge my battery because it's about to die. Right now, I am using the Put In Perfection. This is a curly hand seam cream that really defines your curls. And then I'm using this Cream of Nature Style and Shine Foaming Mousse. So I'm using I'm using this one on the entire length of my hair and then I'm using just the foam on the very ends of my hair that's it like I don't want a lot of that foam in my hair because I just want a soft hold I don't want anything too much it's about that much and I'm really focusing on my ends I kind of neglect my ends sometimes or I'm not putting enough product but again we I have to be extra careful now I don't know how many times I'm going to say it, but I'm going to say it. I have to be extra careful because of the color to make sure that I'm coating every strand. And I'm just going to do a two strand twist. I do flat twist in some areas just where I just feel like I needed that extra stretch. And now I'm doing my perm rod I, I didn't twist my hair all the way down if you didn't notice and now I'm just going to make sure that it's smooth and secure I'll do a few more what two all right you guys so I'm all done twisting I'll be able to blow dry tomorrow on set so so now I'm just putting on a scarf very lightly. I can get everything under here. I may take it off because, you know, I want it to dry. But if I keep it too tight in this thing, I may not get a chance to dry. Trying to make sure it's all comfortable under there. The colors that we used on my hair, since I didn't show it in the vlog, uh, this is the Cream of Nature Bronze Copper. So as you can see, this color is very light compared to my natural um, black hair. So we used this first, and we kept this on probably about 30 to 45 minutes. And here's the color chart here. So if your hair is already black, it will lighten it up to that color, you see it? So we kept that on for, like I said, about 45 minutes. So it lightened my hair a lot. And then we use this one, which is the Intensive Red 
I don't even know what the numbers mean. <laughs> um, but yeah, so then we added that color. But I honestly think my hair was very light after that application. I think my hair was probably like this light brown right here. So once we put that red on there, it changed to like all of these colors because some areas we didn't use this one. We didn't use this on all areas, so it lightened only up like highlights basically. Um, so then when we put the red on, I had all different shades. I had like a darker shade of red, lighter, vibrant. It was just all kinds of reds and it was perfect, especially because my roots were darker, like a really darker red, which was great because the stylist explained that once I... Um, the stylist explained once I started growing my roots out, then my roots would be natural black, then it would be that really dark red, and then it would be the vibrant red. So it would automatically go into a more ombre effect, which that's what I wanted. But my hair really isn't long enough right now for ombre, um, but we'll get there. So yeah, those are the colors that we use. Um, and it's all about the placement. It's all about um with the timing of when you place it and also how long you keep it on your hair to process and we did both of these in the same day and of course my stylist wouldn't recommend that you do that at home so you may have to do it in a process like two weeks over time or something like start with this one first and you would just have to rock this color for a while and then go back with the red um but like i said we were daring on um set and we just did both and my hair feels fine at first it did feel a little bit dry but after my first deep condition um, and lock method my hair bounced back but I'm still gonna keep doing it um, deep conditioning once a week until I feel like my hair is like really really you know hydrated and moisturized and back to normal or even better because um, a lot of people think like you know you can just dye your hair, but no, you have to make sure that your hair is ready. And honestly, my hair was already a bit dry, so I wasn't even shocked that my hair felt dry after dyeing it. Um, so that is an advice I want to give you guys. Just make sure your hair is super healthy and ready for dye because whatever your hair condition is before the um, color is going to be the same or worse after dyeing even though th this is like an awesome box of color because of the argan oil it helps with you know strength and um shine and just conditioning all of that stuff so if you're going to use any type of dye definitely you want something like this that actually helps your hair not just color it you know so yeah those are my colors and um another person asked you know does it bleed and it did bleed the fur not <laughs> not like actually bleeding but you know the color ran um when I washed my hair for the first time but after that it hasn't done any type of bleeding or anything um, but I do plan on using this to touch touch it up and make it even more red probably like in six weeks or so so yeah if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section and I'll make a Q&A video very soon. Thanks for watching, curls.